I think we start with the question of the etheric and eurythmy. And just maybe one or two words, why do we speak such a lot about the etheric and the etheric? For some of you it might be new, some of you knew, no, not new, no, uh, have heard of this concept, use it themselves. And in a way it means, and Rudolf Steiner also says very often, it's so important to go into this area. And what the most specific of the etheric, in a way, it's a servant. It is serving. If you start to notice the etheric and to see it, it's already not doing anymore just what it should do, yeah, or wants to do, but it shows itself. But in a way, it always tries to fulfill what is needed, to care for our health, to do this and to do this, just in a way that you are not noticed, or it is not noticed. But on the other hand, it's so important that we connect with this field because in a way, then we also become this clarity, this we, we learn from it, and in a way, it will open our eyes to also to deeper, even deeper levels, to understand the physical body, to understand, or to become open, to really understand what's the world about, and not just putting our own concepts into it. Let's just start together. We stand upright and we feel ourselves. And already, already here the etheric begins because just Feel your center, feel your heart, and slowly let go and sink down in your body or feel down and feel down into the earth, under your feet. And when you do this, you might be able to notice that your body becomes held even starts growing, even becomes more upright. And that after a while, maybe even the lungs react and let go. Make a little step. And now I try to go just through a through few phenomena of the etheric in order to not to answer it intellectually, but the etheric and the eye they are partner. They, in a way, belong to each other. The, yeah? So, if this happens, you know my ego perception was there. I also did not only lose myself. Start again in your heart and slowly go down. Feeling downwards into the earth without losing yourself. And feel how the body reacts. And let the breath react. It's a little bit trying out, what do I have to do? How do I have to perceive myself that this happens? But why does the breath react? What is it? And one suggestion is the etheric body or the ether or whatever says thank you to you. It just expands, wow, that was nice. And your lungs just follow. So it's not the lungs, it's your etheric body who says, so beautiful, wow. And the lungs become white too because they follow it and the air has to fill this space in the lungs. Yeah, That's the first contact to saying hello to each other, the etheric and me, a last time. 
We go down, feel down. And the feeling is the key down into the earth. At the same time, I stay with me. And feel I become upright and even my heels become light. And then I let go. And listen to what's going to happen. And maybe only a half of 10 seconds afterwards, a breath wants to come about and allow it to happen, even support it to happen. So the slight combination, I'm just let go, but I do not lose contact to myself, is one yeah, correspondence between the etheric and my I. Another, and these things you can also use in, think about in everyday life. Huh? Where does this come into action? Yeah? Staying in contact with myself by letting go. Now we do another principle of the theory that I work at another, at another place as the effect comes about. It's one of my favorite exercises. Just stroke your thighs lovingly. Yeah? Bend them a little bit. It helps to become aware of it. Yeah? And again. And then, oh, it helps us to feel it. Bend the knees a little bit. It's just a preparation and then slowly turn or slowly come up and stretch your legs, but try to stay in your legs. Not in your legs, in your thighs, I'm sorry. Let go and bend them again. And maybe in the earlier times nowadays too, you have so fish doses where you have a, 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 a sort of screw where you can twist and then the metallic band around goes away and maybe just you are a little bit like such a fish dose and you your bent and here you have your your things you can turn and you are down there and then turn your hands and slowly twist there and with every twist you bring your thighs a little bit more up until they are stretched and then just breathe, enjoy if it worked and become curious if it didn't work, how did he do it? Is it true what he says? Yeah. So I stand a little bit like this, then you can see both things. I just bend, I feel my thighs and I turn my hand with my fingers and until they are stretched and then let go again and a last time like this and what is the specific about the etheric and eurythmy that's what I'm busy with now is it's not just specifically eurythmy because eurythmy is everywhere we just make it a little bit conscious some aspects of it if you look at the hip-hop people who just uh, do this exercise, they lie on the floor and they just do this and then they slowly they squeeze, squeeze them up until they stand upright again and then the sounds they make. That they also practice every day yeah, with their friends. You do an action here and the effect is there. Yeah? Let's try it once again without the arms using it. We bend it. We slowly stretch the legs, but we stay in the thighs and stay down there. And only afterwards we feel we have also reached our heart, but we are still there. And now do it a last time and just enjoy that it's possible to be active here. There's nothing in between 
uh, but you control your legs and you really bring them up. So here and then twist, 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 twist. And let your breath react. Your body likes it to be addressed like this. Next step, you work on a specific, and why do we do this? Working here and let it happen there. This is because then the etheric body can organize itself. For example, just take your arms in front of your chest. And that's an exercise which is known often. It's very useful. It does this area good that you just slowly broaden your this realm in front of your chest. You open up, you breathe out and then wow, you come back again. Slowly you come in. Yeah? And then you do it two more times, slowly widening the sun is rising, you enjoy the sound of the birds, and then you come back again. And just do it one more time and feel that does me good. And come back again. And let go. It does good, but we can go one step further and use this principle that not I move my arms, but I try to use my thighs to bring my arms out and in. And just observe the different qualities in the arms, which arises then. You do just the same. You have the arms here, the thighs are bent. And we just, what we did, that we screw us up, we just stay in the thighs. And we, we open the arms, but we in a way try to use the thighs to support this movement to open up. And then slowly, we even try to use the thighs to bring the arms in again. And we do it again. The thighs carry, support the movement, bring the arms out. And the thighs slowly bring them back. Two more times, just practicing a little bit. I'm in my thighs. And I bring it back with the help of my thighs. And observe the quality in your arms when you work with the thighs. And down again. And let go. Feel the breath, how it reacts. Feel your legs. Feel the warmth qualities in your body, the light qualities. Allow yourself to relax without falling down. Did you notice that the quality of this movement changes a little bit? It's just a little bit. Everything is a little bit only when we work with the thighs. Because then my everyday consciousness is down there and I have to screw it and I have to stay down there. And the arms are not disturbed by my everyday day consciousness. They can do this movement by themselves. Their own wisdom starts to do it without being disturbed by me. That thinks it should be done like this. And this is the quality of the etheric. It can organize it. It has the wisdom to optimize everything. So the same gesture becomes smoother if I started 
or carry it from somewhere else. Another thing of the etheric is that the etheric just wants to serve. And now we must not think that's how it should be. I also should be someone who wants to serve. No, that's the nature of the etheric. And because I feel this truth that is necessary, it can happen that my soul also enters into this attitude. But that's not what I'm speaking about. I'm just saying the body, the life forces, have to have the attitude to serve us, otherwise they would just do, they wouldn't build our body, but their body. And they don't do this. Yeah? And this quality that the etheric so strongly wants to serve, you can a little bit observe by this, the fact that you really can lead the etheric by observing it. The etheric loves it to be seen. Yeah? Like every person in a, in a network, in a factory, in an office, yeah? who works and works and works and is not seen. And then suddenly it feels seen. It feels that it's seen what it's doing. It changes everything. And that's the same with our etheric. It's not a being seen what you should do. This we would do with our astral body. I do need this, I need a little bit more milk and be a little bit quicker. But it wants to be seen by our eye. Yeah? Just who's just perceiving. And this we can do with this exercise that we just stay upright. And now I, this exercise is also one of my favorite ones, we just let our arms rise like wings. The arms just can, we feel our shoulder griddle, we feel our shoulder blades, we feel ourselves. At the back, the spine, and then we turn the hands a tiny little bit, just as a symbol that, and feel the back of the hands, that they connect with the space behind us. And for some reason it's possible just to want to, to invite them to rise and we can let them rise without any weight. It feels as if they would rise weightlessly. And if it stops, maybe you push a little bit and suddenly they continue. There are different ways of doing it. And then just let them come down, but in a way that you have the feeling you carry them down. And then let go. Make a little step. It's just to start anew. That's not like brushing teeth, but it's just we change the room and then we start again. We do the same and just observe what, how do you do it? It's hard to describe, but in a way your body understands what you want and the etheric understands you. Yeah, that's your partner and then he does it. You don't even know exactly know how. Sometimes you help him a little bit. So feel your body again. Breathe, relax, feel your back, connect with the space behind you. Stay connected with your body, but feel, invite your arms to slowly rise. And they don't have, if they don't go further, just stop and then let them be carried down again. And maybe also now you notice the breath reacts. And we do the last time, I do a step backward and you can see my feet. And just one thought to it, 
you notice it becomes so slowly. Because it's not a thing, if the etheric starts to take over, time changes. It's, it's the more you can give it over to the etheric, it's like spaces open up and it every, every millimeter becomes so interesting and you not, don't become slowly because you say, oh Theodore is slowly, I must not go quicker. But there's so many things to feel and detect and wonder that you just don't want to move quicker. Maybe just look into this also a little bit. Just stand upright, breathe, feel your back, connect your hands and arms with the space behind your shoulder blades and invite them to rise. And notice if you stay in contact with the body that it reacts everywhere and slowly let it be carried down and see what it does to your body experience. And let go. And the last, there are more things about the etheric, but what the etheric also does, if the eye quality is in a way present, if I do not lose contact with me, then it always creates countercurrents. And if you are more on the level of the everyday consciousness, which we have through our astrality in a way, or whatever you want to call it, this I have to do and this, then it's only one direction and uh, you get exhausted. But if you stay in contact with yourself, you do what you know I want to do it, and then this you give, but you also receive, and this comes into action. And one simple exercise to finish this sequence, which I've tried to go through now, is then we have a break and just let the body say thank you because I'm convinced that he likes what we've just did to talk with him. That we do this streaming up and streaming down and noticing or oh, what do I have to do that these countercurrents come into being. I only have to stay in contact with myself. So just use your hands, put them in front of you and then just have the feeling, invite the currents in front of you to stream up. And then slowly turn your hands and stream up again. And the first thing I could be surprised that, yes, I can have the feeling it's streaming, yeah. I can't see anything, but I stream up. I carefully turn my hands slowly because I stay in the etheric a little bit. And then I stream up, whatever this means. My body knows what, I, what we are talking about. And then just now we have seen how it streams. And now just notice the countercurrents also take place. Just stream up and notice in my body, sometime, at some point of time, it starts to stream down. Oh, yes, I feel connected to the body floor. I feel my feet. And then I stream down. And at a certain point, it starts, oh. It streams up, but my heels become light. But my activity is streaming downwards. So, like when you look at water, we do it one more time and then we sit down. You have the, the rivers flowing from the mountains into the streams, into the sea. 
And then something happens and in the clouds on another level the water is again carried back to the mountains. Yeah? So you have these two levels. There's this level of activity and do not lose yourself in your activity. You only have to stay in contact with yourself that this healing factor, the water is brought back again, but invisibly also takes place. So if countercurrents come, come into action, you are connected with the etheric and your eye. And if no countercurrent come into action in everyday life, think about what you have to do to bring them about. And the main principle is don't lose you in your activity, but at the same time feel yourself. We do it one more time. We stream up. Slowly turn and stream down. Let your breath react to that peace. Take, find a home in your body and sit down for a minute just to feel how the body reacts to what we've just done. When I listen to my body, which limbs or which part of my body comes into my consciousness first? My chest, my heart, my legs, my feet. Is it more blood circulation feeling? Is it more breath breathing feeling in the body? Just let, let your perceptions come and go. Don't expect anything. And if you don't feel anything, you can realize, oh, I do feel any, something. Otherwise, I would be afraid that my legs wouldn't be there anymore. I feel them. So it's just a question of acknowledging that I feel something and to notice that it's very little that all these perceptions are very small little things 